Hey guys, this is Michael from Be Cool. We recently added several new options to our repricing rule. We're making this new intro video to cover the new options and rules. I'm going to start by introducing our default rules. We have two sets of rules. The first two are the new ones. The two compete for the buy box rules focus on competing against the buy box price. The bottom two focus on competing against the lowest price. So the first thing you need to decide is do you want to compete against the buy box price or the lowest price. That will narrow your rule to either the top two or the bottom two. Once you've decided that, do you want to maximize profit or stay competitive? We have two rules that say maximize profit and two that say stay competitive. The compete for the buy box maximize profit rule will beat the buy box by a penny. The compete for the buy box stay competitive rule will beat the buy box by 3%, which is much more aggressive. The maximize profit and stay competitive are the old rules. Both will beat the lowest price by one cent, but stay competitive has much more aggressive buy box settings. More on that later. For most sellers, especially those using FBA, I'm going to recommend compete for the buy box, maximize profit. Let's click into the rule. At the top, you will see the buy box settings. These are the settings you would use after you win the buy box. I actually go over the buy box settings in another video titled buy box settings. Please check that out. I do want to mention some new features with the buy box settings. We added the option to choose your competitors. So perhaps you just want to compete against Amazon and FBA while in the buy box. So you would uncheck FBM. Non-featured means not buy box eligible. I would leave those unchecked. The next setting is the price change safety net. This is an optional setting used to prevent competitors from lowballing you. So if your competitor tries to make you lower your price by more than 50%, you can limit the amount you would price down by 10%. To do that, you would enter 50 here and enter 10 here. Turn that on and you're good to go. Moving on, this rule will be competing against the buy box price. You can change that to lowest price if you'd like. Just like with buy box settings, you would choose your competitors here. Here where you see buy box winner found between min and max, you decide do you want to beat, match, or reprice up against the buy box price and by how much. By default, you will beat the buy box price by a penny. But you can also choose the match by putting zero in here or reprice up by changing this to plus. You can also use a percentage instead of a dollar amount if you'd like. The next option when buy box winner equals min price, here you can't reprice below the buy box as they are at your min. So you decide if you want to use min price, max price, do not reprice, or something custom. No competition. What do you want to do if you're the only seller? Use max price, do not reprice, or customize your price. Buy box winner found below min or above max. Use do not reprice, min price, max price, or a fixed price. This is a fun one. No buy box winner meaning the buy box is suppressed. Usually this means that all prices are too high so Amazon has removed the buy box. Options are do not reprice, use min price, max price, your price, or a fixed price. Just like for buy box settings, we also have a safety net that applies for repricing settings. You can turn this on if you'd like. Min price protection settings just means we won't go below your min price. Advanced settings. You would use these if you want to use a specific strategy against certain competitors. This will override what's in repricing settings. Something you might see for FBA sellers is to reprice up 5 or 10% against FBM sellers. So you would use the FBA versus FBM settings. You being FBA and your competitor being FBM. When buy box winner is above min price, you would choose buy box, 
price plus perhaps 5 or 10 percent. Fill in when buy box winner equals min price with something, perhaps use min price. Turn it on and you're good to go. Moving on down, custom settings. These override repricing settings as well. You can choose to exclude or compete only against specific sellers. Make sure to enter their seller ID here, not their store name. Make sure to hit on for any of these settings that you want to use. You can choose to exclude or include sellers with free or expedited shipping. Next two options let you exclude sellers based on feedback rating or feedback count. If you want to avoid competing against new or fake sellers on your listings, then it may help to set a percentage here, such as 70%, and a count here, such as 10 to make sure you're only competing against legit sellers. Exclude backordered sellers. We heard a lot of feedback saying this is very helpful. It is on by default. Exclude sellers with long handling time here. And another new feature, if you sell used products, definitely turn this on. Choose if you want to reprice against the same condition, same or better, used condition, or collectible. For use or collectible options, you can actually select which specific subconditions you want to compete against. When you're all done with the rule, make sure to hit save. That's all the settings for the compete for the buy box maximize profit rule. You can click into the other rules and see the different settings that they have. For example, you can click into the compete for the buy box stay competitive rule. And you can see that it has much more aggressive repricing settings. This one has beat the buy box competitor by 3%. I would only use this rule if you want to beat the buy box by a big margin. That wraps up the introduction to the new rules. If you have any questions, please email support at becool.com.